Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Plague Inc. Evolved with me, Lathrix. And once more, welcome to the speedrun segment. Um, in our last speedrun video, we did the very basic disease known as bacteria. Well, the very basic organism type, I should say, known as bacteria, in which I've slightly beat it since then. Yay, finally beating the 320. But um, it turns out this section's bugged out, but the friend ranking is the section which doesn't break. So your best will still be kept there, so hurrah for that. Today we're going to be doing the virus. Now with the virus, my current thinking is, because I really can't remember how I even got to this fast, is that we're going to go heavily into transtasis. This means we have um, cheaper transmissions, and the idea is we go into transmissions, particularly ones which cause mutations, and thus we get free symptoms. Now the virus's special kind of thing is that it's slightly more resistant to the cure than bacteria, if you look at the stats of it, but it also is far, far, far more mutagenic. It's much more liable to randomly evolve symptoms. The big thing is, and this is quite a big thing indeed, is that devolving symptoms does actually cost you, unlike the bacteria in which you get some money back. So we're going to have a quick match now, test out how it does, and see just, well yeah, just how well it does. We'll start in India first of all, and then we'll have another test out in Saudi Arabia. There we go. So since we're in India, we're in a hot country, in a rural country, we're going to go for um, insect first of all, since it's one of the best animal um, uh, transmissions, which does cause mutation, and then we're going to go into livestock. Now livestock is the worst um, transmission normally, but because we are in a rural area, it is pretty darn good. I think um, livestock's on par with blood, so actually blood might be slightly worse, but there we are. So yeah, we want to get out of here as soon as possible. Actually, speaking of that, what um, did we use for this? We had Acrocyte. I think maybe Native Biome would have been best so that we had a speed up in our first country, but it's not really too much of a hassle either way. Not very fast start. We still haven't got our first transmission. It's already been quite a while. Oh, Anemia got mutated for free already. Not the best one to mutate, but at least it is a bit of free transmission. And now we've gone into Insect, the chance of those mutations occurring has increased. Next, as I say, we're going to Livestock. And we'll see how that will do. So livestock goes now. Livestock susceptible to infection increases infectivity, especially in rural regions, and mutation. Mutation, of course, being the big thing while, we, while we're actually choosing that. Now, I might go into livestock level 2, but I'm also tempted to go into insect to save for insect, as it's quite good, or even go into bird. I might, however, at the same time, go into water or air. In fact, I am going to go into air. Um, this, this is a humid location, so it would have been better to go into water for pure infectivity, but I do want the planes to send off some into most of Europe. Maybe we'll get both. Maybe we'll go down the route of both of them, then go back to mutagenic. Yeah, I think, that, I think that might be better. Yeah, let's see if we can get some free boats and free planes. There we go, before we actually um, get caught. That's quite a good start. The, a lot of places infected for such an early start, and, we, and we've already crossed the borders. Yay. Hmm, do you want to go into Avian and increase that even further? I think we do, because it's also quite a bit of infectivity, but that will increase our chance um, to cross land borders. And we'll do that twice. And then I would like the water level 2. It doesn't really matter too much about getting resistances just yet, because we're not in countries which we, which we um, need to spread out of quickly. In fact, let's get air level 2, then we'll get cold resistance and drug. Right now we should get drug first, as we're already in wealthy regions, but we're not in many cold regions. And then if we've got it spare, there we go. Cold one, cold two, we're not lethal, are we? Nope, we've got... That's pretty good. Pretty good selection there. Next I'll probably go down the route of rodents, so we're better in urban environments. Particularly since we're only getting level one wealth resistance, and most wealthy regions in the planet, according to Plague Inc. Evolved, are urban. Okay, extreme bioaerosol as well. Maximum planes, maximum boats. Rodent level 2, we're going for extreme zoonosis, which is here, which is pretty much increases infectivity everywhere, since it's rural and urban, and increases mutation chance, and increases cross-country transmission. It's a really good transmission type, and of course, it's mutagenic, which is what we want. Insomnia got mutated. We are lethal quite badly, actually. Why? Okay, I'm actually going to take away that, and I'm going to give us skin lesions on purpose. That sounds rather cruel. <laughs> I'm going to give us skin lesions. Lovely. Can someone please go to Greenland? That would be great. 
Yes, order in Greenland. Fantastic. Let's have a quick look. See, okay, let's go down. Oh, and we got necrosis for free. Fantastic. Hemorrhagic shock, tumors, systematic infection, and coma. I should have checked to make sure we had all the islands. We did. Excellent. I could have gone horribly wrong. Okay, so at this stage, we just want to kill them. So we're going to start evolving symptoms ourselves. That's very slow in Canada. Uh, it will be speeding up, particularly since the dead are infectious. Should we get... Okay, let's get drug level 2 just to increase the speed. It's the same in Sweden. We're quite far behind, and that seemed to speed it up a lot. Oh, Canada's actually going to slow us down by quite a bit, which is a shame, because we did quite well, but Canada's really slowed us. Damn you, Canada! Dysentery. Oh, I should get that as well. Why, why was I just sitting there not evolving things when I had spare DNA? Uh, perhaps we should go for drug level 2 virus. Maybe that's the case, because these are all days I could have, you know, avoided. It's almost solely from, yeah, wealthy countries. But they're about to die off. But yeah, it's been a couple of weeks. No, even a month, in fact. Yeah, we, have th we could have easily took off 30 days from that if we had a faster on the um, wealthy. Okay, we'll try that again. And we're going to do India again. And we're going to go with drug resistance level 2 this time and see how well that does. Okay, so here we are starting again. This time we're doing the native biome and we're going to try to do um, level 2 drug resistance and see just how that does. Going with the same kind of tactic. Oh, much faster start there, just by default. <laughs> uh, got lucky with the bubbles there, but um, yeah, that won't make too much of a difference overall, perhaps a couple of days having the two transmission types. But we should be a lot faster now. Uh, well, the initial spread. As you can probably see, we are much, much faster. Let's go into water, go into air. So, yeah, level 2 drug resistance we're going to get this time. And we're also going to go... And we've already used a native biome. Cysts got mutated for free. That's kind of cool. There'll be a little bit of lag just now, just because I just started on downloading something in the background because I have almost no time today. So I do apologise for that. That will only happen during this um, match here. Then the next match will be back to normal. Um, okay, yeah, avian level 1. What have I got? I've got cysts and I've got rash. That's good. I've got cysts and I've got a rash. <laughs> oh, it's so easy to mess up when you're speaking about symptoms. Wow, this is much faster. Avian level 2 as well. Oh, yay! I finished downloading the game and Steam popped it up for me. Thanks, Steam. I forgot I was connected still. Okay, so we'll level 2 and we'll go for resistances now. We'll get drug first because we're already in several wealthy countries. Very nice start this time. A little bit disappointed with the amount of um, mutation I've had though, but other than that, very good start indeed. I'm going to get rodent level 2 and we'll get cold level 1 now and I'll get either drug or cold depending on that. Ah, we've already got to Russia so we'll go with cold level 2 first. Help the spread there and try to get to Greenland as soon as possible. Next we'll get drug resist level 2, like I said I was going to. There we go. We just got tumours and I'm going to actually devolve that. It'll be far too much of a closing ports kind of issue. Am I actually being cured yet? I must have been found by now. I was going to say it would have been amazing if I hadn't been found now. It would be silly in fact. Um, inset level 2 or let's go for extreme zoonosis straight away. Then we'll now we'll try to go for extreme bioaerosol. So we get air. Next we'll get bioaerosol as previously mentioned. Increase our chances to get on boats before the full infection happens, because I just saw a boat go to green and uninfected. Oh, two of them! Oh, what a missed opportunity. Should have got that sooner. That could slow us down. We're now actually killing people way too quickly. Because, you know, we're killing people. I didn't intend to do that yet. Can someone please go to Greenland? Come on. Yes, there we go. We're now in Greenland. Is that the world infected? Yes, it is. So let's start killing people. Um... There you go, we've got necrosis, so the killing can be justified in terms of spreading still. Just keep popping those blue bubbles, slowing down the cure. There we go, a huge chunk of DNA there as we've got the full infect. And a load of lethality, systematic infection by itself. That was good. That was actually very good. I'm not looking at the date, purely because I want to believe that was really, really freaking good. Okay, let's get all the lovely lethality causings now. Okay, no, now there's no healthy people left in the world. Get diarrhea, we'll get dysentery next. Paranoia got mutated, at least I'll slow some stuff down. Not much, but a little. And then we get dysentery, and that's all the major lethalities got. Do we have? Yep, we have everything there. That's not lethal. Paralysis is the only thing we can really grab now, so just wait until everyone dies, and then we'll see how well we've done. Paralysis again. Such a quick start. I mean, that was a ridiculous... Also, yeah, speed us, virus, haha, -ha, I get the joke. 
327. I thought it was faster than that, but that was still remarkably quick. We could have saved a lot of time if we had extreme bioaerosol to increase our chance to get on the boats and planes. I think we've kind of got the right idea now. Could we have sped it up in any other way? What else could we have chosen to speed that up? Because I don't think it could have. I think we had the right kind of choices there. Hmm. Okay, let's do it again. We're going to keep all the same settings, same kind of idea. This time we're going to try to pri try to pri prioritize um, water and air even earlier, and then go into intermutagenic. So we, uh, I'm not sure. So I think insect level one, water one, air one. See how far we got there. Or maybe we better air water then. No, we want the mutations. Okay, back in a second. Let us see if third time is really the charm. So this time we're going to go a bit more focused on air and water. The whole reason is to well try to get on boats and airplanes extremely, extremely early to see if we can get to all the correct places. So straight away we're going to go into water level one, choosing water first because it is humid. I was considering going into insect first because, well, um, there's a higher chance of you mutating than getting onto boats, particularly when there's only a hundred or so infected, but that should also speed up infection quite a bit. So we've got water level one, we've got air level one. Next we're going to go into insect, so we've got quite an early high infectivity. I was going to say perhaps we should save up, but I really don't think we should. Next I'll be going into livestock. Okay, so we've got anemia and we've got nausea. That's quite a good two to infect to um, get straight away. Probably only coughing would beat that. Okay, we're already in a rich country, which is Japan, a wealthy country indeed. And next we'll go into livestock to increase our mutation chance and give us a little bit of infectivity. Next we'll go into bird to help us go across borders and that's quite a nice infect before being found, it must be said. We haven't been found have we? No we haven't, excellent. Okay, a new minor disease spreading, now we have been. I'm going to go into water level 2 and then I'm going to go into drug level 1 because we have reached Europe. Oh, just infected the US as well. Still no um, cold countries other than the UK so we'll just stay with that. I would like extreme bioaerosol soon, so let's go to air level 2, then we'll go to extreme bioaerosol, so we have a huge chance of getting into boats and planes before the country is fully infected. Now we'll start doing cold resistance, and drug resistance straight afterwards. Um, immune suppression I don't really want, it is lethal, and it does increase mutation chance, but it's just too lethal. Um, okay, so let's go cold level 2 just because we are in Russia, then we'll go for drug level 2 as well. Already got into Iceland, fantastic, there we go, drug level 2, we'll speed everything up quite a bit. And continue. More infectivity, please. Let's go with, uh, maybe rodent to be best. Yeah, let's go to rodent and livestock level 2. To help out with Russia. Rodent level 2, bird level 2, soon to have extreme uh, zoonosis. Ah, the extreme um, bird migration only went to Finland. That wasn't too good since we're right next to them already in terms of infectivity. Well, in terms of infection, I should, I should say. Okay, extreme uh, zoonosis, but still no boats. Been very unlucky with boats going to Greenland. That may be our downfall, even with the extra we went with. Sometimes it's just luck. I mean, just no boats have gone there yet. We're just waiting. There we go, finally. That took way too long and thus has resulted in our timely demise. I am tempted to try and start in Russia. I normally don't because it is quite a slow start because the population is meant to be more spread out, although Russia obviously does have quite a large population. For its land mass, it's actually incredibly small in terms of um, people per metre or, 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 or whichever measurement you want to use, mile, kilometre, whatever. It's not very big. so. Hmm, okay, we'll try with Russia, we'll try with Russia, okay, just finish this off. That didn't go too well because of the look with um, Greenland, so, yeah. I'm not a big fan of, honestly, starting in cold countries, I find that a little bit worse than the hotter countries, but I am completely okay with trying it, so let's try a fourth time, and let's try in Russia. Well, here we are, and we're keeping all the basic settings as before. We're going to go straight into Russia this time, so we really do want to go straight for water. It's not only is it already humid here, it's also, of course, got one of the major 
boat lines to Greenland, which it also shares with Norway. Norway and Greenland are the best for actually getting there. I always say um, Russia's more important because it's it's not wealthy, it's easier to infect quickly, yada yada yada. You've got a higher chance of getting it from there. So that's quite a good start. We've already got, already got our first mutation. We're infecting quite nicely. Okay, do I want water? Uh, do I want air? Or would I prefer to try and get out of Russia as soon as possible because it's such a slow infection rate. I think I will go with Avian. Actually, we're not too slow. Maybe my um, my previous ideas about well, that's infected. That's fast rather. Uh, my my previous ideas about Russia and its infection speed were unfounded. Of course, it has been like I say a very long time since I have played vanilla properly, uh, the basic game. So, hmm, that's actually. Yeah, very good start. Very good starting speed. Not quite as fast as India, but not far off. And instantly, because of Avian, we have spread to several places. I am actually going to go into air as well. Uh, just remember, we do need heat resistance this time, not cold resistance. Well, there's the thing. I do actually find cold resistance still helps, even if you do start in a cold country. Okay, going with livestock. Uh, we're going to need some wealth resistance. Next, okay, now we're definitely going to need heat level 1 and heat level 2 already. We're not getting much DNA per red bubble, and both Canada and, um, the, and the US are infected. Fantastic. Heat level 1 and heat level 2 is 20. There's th and there's another reason. Heat is more expensive than cold to actually evolve, so... Another reason why I try to avoid colder places from my starting zones. Already in Greenland, but of course, now the new big problem is Madagascar. So we'll see just how bad that is in comparison to Greenland. I know it's not quite as bad because it tends to get there quite soon. Okay, let's go with air level 2. And let's go with insects because they're good in hot environments. And obviously now with the islands being in the south being the issue of trying to get to them as fast as possible. Very, very good. Okay, extreme bioaerosol. Lovely. Oh, I've, I've just looked at, at the um, time. It's already been... Yeah, that's not fast at all. Not sure what just evolved there. Didn't check. Okay, nothing too bad. Uh, whatever it was. Uh, let's go with... Must, let's go with insect level 2. Let's go with blood level 2. Let's go with rodents. Okay, we've just got to Madagascar. At least it isn't um, difficult to get there, but yeah, it's definitely too slow of a start. India and Saudi Arabia have huge um, bonuses really to their starting, and that's what I think even Ch well even China does because of the massive population for the area. Uh, definitely not beating this today. I mean, in this fight anyway, we never know who could beat it later. And again, we didn't really need these. Have we been infected everywhere? Yeah, I kind of got um, distracted because because I, I realised we're not going to beat what we've already done. That just wasn't. A, see, that was a good start as well. That was a good start, but it's just far, far too slow. Okay. So let's just quit that. There's no need in carrying on. So with the virus this time, I think we're going to go back to having aquasite to increase my chance of um, spreading by sea, just to make it. Ah, uh, no. See, it isn't even that. We didn't even miss a boat. It is somewhat just based on luck. So I am going to stick with native biome, but this time we're going to try. Saudi Arabia, as that has one of the best, um, the best planes, the best um, air usage. It it sends planes everywhere, basically. So let's do Saudi Arabia this time. Hello, Saudi Arabia. Okay, so we're going to go straight into air this time. The very first thing we need to get is air level one. I think what I'll do is air level one, insect air level two. Or possibly even air level 1, air level 2, getting on those planes is very important because that is the big thing that Saudi Arabia gives us. So if we were to go on to something else, it's almost pointless starting here. I am considering it. We are, of course, still extremely um, mutagenic. We are causing mutations constantly just by being the virus and having Darwinism as our trait. Oh, there we go. So air level 2, that will greatly increase our chance on getting on planes before full infection has happened. So here's hoping we can get on some good planes. Next I'll get insect level 1 to increase our spread. Then I think I'll get avian. I think I'll get the um, bird level 1. Oh, there we go. Our first infected plane. Oh, look all those planes. Even though we're only this much infected in the country. That's perfect. Okay, let's get a uh, bird level 1, a rodent level 1. And we're already in, in Russia, that's actually fantastic. So let's get water level 1, then we'll get cold resistance. I wanted um, water first though, just because we are in multiple places where we do need to start spreading. So, cold level 1, we'll get cold level 2 next, then we'll do drug resist 1 and 2. 
fully infected Saudi Arabia. Fantastic. Very quick spread. That's That was a very good start. Now it all depends on the luck of the draw if we get good timings with the boats. Drug resist level 1 is go. We're still not actually that infectious, so let's go with livestock level 1 to increase our mutation. Oh, I just saw an uninfected, uh, an uninfected boat get to Greenland. That's a bit concerning. I'm hoping it wasn't from Russia. Oh, I just saw another uninfected go from Russia. That is actually terrible. And we could have even afforded that as well at the time. That could be our downfall, to be perfectly honest. Still incredibly infectious. Okay, let's get drug level 2, and then let's get... Just, just keep increasing our transmission. Let's try to go for extreme zoonosis. Oh, oh, there we go. Already in Greenland. That was actually incredibly quick. So we can already start killing people, which is, of course, a very big boon. So sweating, skin lesions. We need to get necrosis first. There's a thing to inc to make sure our, our infectivity still stays up. The last thing we want to do is overkill a country and then lose because of that. Looking at the time, though, I still don't think this is quick enough. Huh. Curious. I wonder how I got those 300 days. Of course, remember, that was back before a lot of balance changes happened. I'm sure people have beat that. I mean, it's not that good a time. I just wonder, then, what could I have done better than that? That was incredibly quick. There we go. Coma, insanity. We'll get um, dysentery next. There we go. And then just let let it um, play on. There's nothing really more for us to do. Just grab whatever we can, I suppose. Yeah, fully infected, no health people left in the world, and there we go. Goodbye, world. Definitely not that fast, though. <sighs> Maybe I should start killing faster. Maybe that's it. Maybe I should start killing a little bit earlier. Perhaps even rush um, necrosis. I think that I think that might be one of the things. Okay, so we're not doing bad. I mean, these are these are definitely good times. Still less than a year, but okay. I'm going to do that again with Saudi Arabia. So I felt I felt that was quite good, but this time I might actually push necrosis. I'm not sure yet. Let's try again. After a little bit of thinking, I've decided to go a bit of a different route here, and we're going to go with base oxidization, which allows me to mutate transmissions for free. This is going to be a weird one, honestly, so we're going to see just how this does. We're also again going to push um we're going to push necrosis quite early this time and see if perhaps killing people and getting that kind of thing sorted out earlier perhaps gives us a little bit of a boost. We will see, we will see. So with that in mind, I'm still going to go into air level 1 to start off with because we are in Saudi Arabia and there's no point in being here if we're not going to push for planes. There we go. And then we'll go into insect to try and push some of the transmissions early as well. Oh, there you go, blood level 1 got mutated for free. So there's a free transmission and there's another, which is quite good. I'm not quite sure about this, honestly. This is kind of a weird one. I'm not sure if this will actually turn out well, but maybe it will. Maybe it will. I mean, I'm, I'm even tempted to go... Actually, yeah, let's go viral instability. Let's go complete mutation heavy and see what happens. If nothing else, it'll be a bit of fun. So level 3 is 8. So viral instability is like the mutation causing transmissions. It increases the chance of, of mutations happening when you spread and such, but it doesn't give transmission, but it is very, very powerful in comparison to the um, transmissions. Rodent level 1 got mutated for free, so let's go with bird as well. A lot of free transmissions there. We need to get um, air soon. Air level 2 I was going to say, but actually it's already kind of run its course. It's a bit late for that. We do need to, have to however, get, get cold resistance, like now. In fact, we're a bit late on that. Probably because I was beginning to be confused about what to do when with this new way of um, playing. Okay, let's get cold level 2, then we'll get drugs as soon as possible. Well, wealth resistance, drug resistance, as soon as possible. There we go. Also, ignore the banging. There's some work going on next door, which is kind of annoying. Even where I am currently sitting, it's just impossible to avoid. There we are. So here's the problem, we've got almost no symptoms transmitted, uh, mutated at all. It's meant to be like 50-50, so that was just bad luck. Okay, there we go, skin lesions and go into necrosis when I can, I suppose. 
This is kind of weird, and I don't think it's turned out as well as I thought it might do. But saying that, this is a... Oh, they're over in Greenland. Okay, then start killing people. Now. Very early killing, which is good. So, I guess we go for immune suppression as well, since that will also give me more transmissions. Oh, yay, for free. Excellent. And then we'll go for total look. Thank you, mutations. Rodents. There we are. Systematic infection for free there. Let's get those. Even more mutations. Let's go for coma next. Uh, don't really want to... Okay, fine. I'm going to get diarrhea, which means they are going to get a little bonus to the cure. Wait, was it this bat Was it this match they said they got an, an, an understanding about that? I can't remember. Maybe it wasn't, because they didn't seem to do anything. Normally they exploit their understanding of X, Y, or Z, and then blah, blah, blah. Apparently that was a match I didn't keep. Since some matches just get such bad luck, it's not even worth keeping in the video. And it wasn't bad. Come on, finish off. But again, wasn't fast enough to come anywhere near my um, my best. Huh. 350. Okay. Last try then. Perhaps we're just doing this all wrong. Perhaps we should go with symptostasis. So we just base ourselves on symptoms and hope we get some free transmissions, almost ignore transmissions entirely, and see how that goes. Okay, this will be the final attempt today. I know it didn't end up too well, but once again, I am pretty rusty. I might come back to it, so this might be a part one of two, and we'll see just if I can um, figure out exactly where I'm going wrong here, because clearly I'm doing something wrong. Okay, Saudi Arabia, and we'll go into rash, sweating, skin lesions, and then I don't know. Uh, although, I might just go around the edge, actually. Yeah, because if I go around the edge, then I might mutate some of the more expensive stuff for free. That'd actually probably be a lot better. So let's do coughing first, then, since we're not going to spread straight away. Actually, why did I start in Saudi Arabia if I'm not going to evolve air? Probably shouldn't have done that. There we are, we've got sneezing. Next we'll get sweating. Then we'll grab skin lesions when we can. And then let's do some mutation. We'll grab some um, viral instability and see how that does. So the first one costs us five. There we are. Since we're not getting the... Ooh, necrosis for free. I don't... <laughs> Keeping that this early could be really good or really bad. Because it's going to get us found so quickly. You know what? Let's keep it. And if, we... and if it screws up really fast, then we'll just redo one last match. Abscesses next, and let's go hypersensitivity as well. Uh, nausea, vomiting, and then let's do some more mutation. I, I did keep the whole can mutate transmissions, didn't I? Okay, good. And level 3. There we go, viral instability, level 3. Paralysis got mutated, even more lethality. Definitely don't want that, since it also isn't very good for transmission. Let's go for air level 1 just now, water level 1 because I need them, and we'll go for cold level 1. And drug level 1 when we can. Yay! Blood transmitted for free. Sorry, um, evolved for free. Mutated for free. There we go. There's what I was looking for. Cold level 2. We're now in Russia. Fantastic. Good timing. We've just got bird level 1 for free. Which is just what we wanted to see. And then we'll get drug level 2, and we'll go with water level 2, air level 2, and extreme bioaerosol when we can. Tumors got evolved. Oh, do I really want to keep that? Oh, and again, a boat not going to Greenland infected. Russia, be on my side for once, lad. Bird level 2, rodent level 1, rodent level 2, and then we don't really need any more of these, so now I'll just stick with these. Oh, cool, just got to Greenland already. Fantastic, actually. That is fantastic indeed. So now we just need to kill everyone. Which we're pretty much already doing. So, dysentery, hemorrhagic shock, paralysis. Next we'll do coma. Fever got mutated for free. Lovely. Coma, we did get everything we wanted, didn't we? Good. There we go, total organ failure, and we'll grab edemia, pneumonia, and fibrosis, inflammation, seizures, paranoia, systematic infection. Basically, we've got everything. There we go. I still think perhaps a hybrid of the two kind of ideas would have worked better. Going for um, skin lesions and then going heavily transmission might have been a good one as well. 
Let's see, how did this turn out? According to that, quite well. It's not going to beat my old one, but certainly better than we've been doing so far today. Victory 291. Never mind, we have beaten it because we learned. Ha <laughs> ha! Under 300. Fantastic. We've beat our old record. Still only four stars, but I think we've got more of a general gist then. We definitely need to... So, what did we learn today? We've learned that we need to kill them earlier. We then also learned that a more of a hybrid approach is much better. Going solely into one or the other, even with transmissions, isn't that good. But, being able to evolve transmissions and going heavily into symptoms is pretty good. Either way, remarkably happy, we've got a new record. So there we go, 291. I'll be testing it out in the in the past. Once again, though, um, thank you so much for all the positivity from the last um, episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one as well. If you have, and of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Plague Inc. Evolved and speedruns are things you wish to see in the future. And of course, give me a suggestion if you wish to see a specific one next time. So thank you, and goodbye.